Hey, you! What are you going to do about this? I hear a menacing voice call out from behind me. <laughs> Uh-oh. I wouldn't mind if you had your way with me. <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> Oh crap! How's it going, everybody? Hoodlumut here, back with some more Clanid. And uh, last time, we uh, were invited by uh, Furukawa to her place to eat with her family because we don't like eating at home. And um, we tried to um, help her, you know, clean out the uh, drama club room. And she was sad when we said we weren't going to be a part of it. And I'm going to force. Uh, Tomoya to be a part of it. If he doesn't, I'm quitting this game. Uh, I'm deleting it. And, um, I'm never touching it again. Because that's just evil. Uh, and, uh, a few other things happen that aren't quickly coming to mind. But that's all that really matters right now. Uh, is that we're going to, uh, Furukawa's house. Uh, so here we go. I pivot on my heel and start walking once more further thinking about how to turn this unnatural predicament into a natural one. So this is the place, huh? I see a bakery immediately across the street from the park. The billboard says, Furukawa Bread. What a plain looking store. Its glass store is half closed, but a brilliant light pours out from it like a knocked-over soda without a cap. <laughs> okay, that's an interesting, uh, simile. <laughs> they seem to still be open. Even so, it feels hard to walk in. Do any customers other than regulars come here? If I was a someone looking to buy bread, I'd probably look elsewhere, even if it meant going farther down the road. But today, I'm here because Furukawa invited me. My only option is to go in. I step through the door and enter inside. Ooh, that looks tasty. Alright, so this must be why she likes bread stuff, right? She must, maybe maybe she's thinking about making Anpan and other stuff uh, to help her calm down because that, like, that's, that's what makes her happy or something. I don't know, I'm trying to figure her out, you know? Uh... No one's here. Heyo! I try saying something. <sighs> but I don't get anything in reply. So they've just left it unattended? In that case, someone could help themselves to as much food as they wanted. I look at the different kinds of bread lined up on the shelves. There's a lot left. What are they going to do with all this? Though it's already quite late, the trays are covered in bread. They look like they taste good. You know, I think I'll help myself to a sample. Are you stealing? Oh wait, no. Wait, did he say that there were samples? Did I miss something? I, I might have I might have just kind of absentmindedly read there for a minute because I'm thinking about other stuff. You can't just take that. I take one off a tray. But as I bring it to my mouth, I notice something off. My hand stops. There's something in this. Good evening. Suddenly, I hear a voice come from behind. Oh, I just guessed it was a girl, okay. I turn around in shock, only to find a woman standing right in front of me. Judging by the apron she's wearing, she probably works here. Could she be Furukawa's mom? She seems pretty young to be, if that's the case. That's this week's new product. Try it out, please. How much is it? <laughs> Furukawa and mother. <laughs> what the heck? You don't need to pay anything. It'll just go to waste otherwise. Oh, that's super benevolent of you. Thank you. Not even like 50 cents, like when you go to Jimmy John's and buy their bread. I think you can still do that, right? Buy, like, a, a loaf of their bread when it's, like, a day old for 50 cents or something like that. Lucky for me. The concept behind that piece is 
calm. Huh? So I'll feel calm if I eat this? I knew it! So it must be like why she says Anpan or something, right? Because <laughs> it calms her down. I knew it! Yes, I think you'll feel quite calm. <laughs> I don't really understand, but I try eating it anyway. It's full of rice crackers. Isn't it amazing? I think it's a winning idea. It's defeated me, at the very least. <laughs> it's called... Rice Cracker Bread. Exactly as advertised, I see. I think that everyone from children to the elderly will love eating these. I'd expect a broad outpouring of disgust for them, to be frank. <laughs> Dude, why are you so mean? I think my lull is making her anxious. Um, do you not like it? She asks me with fear in her voice. Yeah, I'm gonna give this to you straight. No one would ever buy this. Wh what could be the problem? Is it the name? I'm not very confident about the name, you know. Oh, what should I change it to? It's all crumbly, so... Maybe just crumbly bread? I kind of like that. That's kind of cute. <laughs> or would crackly bread be better? Uh, may I? Please, go ahead. I think the problem is more fundamental than that. Oh? Where you went wrong was having the idea to put rice crackers in bread in the first place. But... Isn't it tasty? I'm saying this because it isn't. Dude, he's so blunt! I, I mean, I'd rather someone be blunt with me than to beat around the bush, so at least he's, like, straightforward. But dang, he just come right out and says it, brother. Alright. Alright, respect, kinda. I mean, it's, it's kinda mean, but also, like, at least he's being honest and not... <laughs> no, yeah, sell this bread even though I hate it, you know? <laughs> Tears begin to well up in her eyes. Then... She turns around and runs away. Ah, that's sad. <laughs> but I mean, you can't say you didn't like it. I, I, there's probably a better way to say it, though, right? Like you could have could have let her down a little more gently. Well, I just think this, you know, might not appeal to a wide uh, audience. You know, it's a very, you know, particular taste. Not my thing, you know, or something. Hey, what's wrong with you? Are you a child or something? Oh my gosh. <laughs> The store is empty once again. I just stand there, dumbfounded and alone. Guess the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. I can't help but think of the saying. What kind of family environment is this exactly anyway? I gradually start to feel more and more uneasy. I hope that her dad is normal at least. Well, yeah, what a great first impression. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> hey, you! What are you gonna do about this? I hear a menacing voice call out from behind me. <laughs> Uh-oh. I turn to face it. This time, I see a man with a threatening expression staring at me. Don't tell me. Is this her dad? He's young, just like her mom. He seems like a teenage delinquent that aged, but never managed to grow up. What you need to do is just eat it and tell her it's delicious. It's called being decent. It's called having manners. That's not something I do for someone I'm meeting for the first time. Having manners? What? <laughs> oh, you mean, you mean lying. Is that what he means? Just lying out, out right? Yeah, I mean, you don't want to lie. Definitely. The truth is always harsh, you see. How cold-hearted could you be to just come right out and give her the truth? 
Just imagine if your parents suddenly told you one day that they actually picked you up as a baby from under a bridge. You'd feel a little blue, wouldn't you? That's why you should tell her that bread tastes good. Well, what do you have to say? Uh, I'm not gonna let you act like this isn't your problem just because you're a customer. Everyone around here eats her bread and tells her it's delightful. Like if clouds and rainbows had flavors, they'd taste like her bread. It's an unspoken rule. A code. A law. This is absurd. <laughs> Don't break it. Because if you do, I'm going to stomp a mud hole in you, then walk it dry. What kind of ridiculous home have I walked into? Ugh, that's a lot of leftover bread again. The man grumbles as he walks around the store. He starts grabbing bread off trays and stuffing them into plastic bags in front of me. What the... We've only sold one of Sanae's cracker breads? And it's in my hands. <laughs> These guys are going to Isagai-san's house then. So he goes around sharing the leftovers with neighbors? Yuck! No one likes that guy. <laughs> Ugh! This one hasn't sold at all either! Now would be a good time to run. I quietly do an about face and attempt to exit the store. Hey you! I recognize that uniform. Don't you go to the same school as my kid? He noticed. Hey, I said hold on. That's right, I do. So what? Are you Nagisa's friend? Yeah, you got a problem with that? Ugh, you should have said that earlier. <laughs> hey, Sanae! We're going all out tonight. He approaches me and grabs both of my shoulders. I'm going home. He then starts dragging me. <laughs> With an uncanny amount of force. Wow. There's no way I can resist. <laughs> the table is absolutely covered with rows of leftover bread. How are these guys not, like, super thick? You know, just, like, super fat. <laughs> How is that not possible? All they eat is carbs, it looks like. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were Nagisa's friend. <laughs> I feel embarrassed now. If I'd known, I wouldn't have acted like that in front of you. I guess that's a frequent sight to her customers. <laughs> Gotta got that backwards, right? Ha! <laughs> Don't worry about it, Sane. He's a little bit of a weirdo. You shouldn't say things like that to a customer. You can say that again. In any case, this is something to celebrate. I can't believe Nagisa was able to bring a friend to the house this fast. Aww. Not only that, but a boy, Akio-san. What? A man? <laughs> what? Did he just now notice? Maybe he's even her boyfriend. Pfft. Like I'd hand Nagisa over to a wuss like him. Get lost! Scram! <laughs> okay, I'll leave. Hey, and you call yourself a man? A real man would take her from me. Even if it's by way of a vicious duel where we both brandish broken bottles and switchblades. But even if you tried, even if... You tried. I still wouldn't hand her over. Uh, which is it? Because you basically just contradicted yourself there. Now, now. Just eat up, okay? Furukawa's mom grins as she recommends different kinds of bread to me. Are they like brothers and sisters? They, they don't feel like moms and dads, because he said they're young, you know? I bet they're like his, her brother and sister or something. 
This one is popular. I think it's really delicious. Furukawa's dad practically burns holes right through me with his menacing stare, his eyes filled with rage and malice all the while. An unspoken rule. A code. A law. <laughs> what an awful home. I'm home! Ah, the princess has returned. It seems like Furukawa is finally back. I'm saved. I think. <laughs> See? You're already getting along. That's right, my daughter. Just leave it to me. Okay, it is his daughter. Okay, alright, so they are... They are her parents, alright. Interesting. We wouldn't let your friends sit around and get bored. All three thrust their fists out towards one another. <laughs> I just stare at the scene like an idiot. Why are you looking all stupid like that? Oh, I just thought it'd be best if I didn't get involved in anything having to do with this family. That's all. No big deal. <laughs> ha! Look at that! We're already such good friends that he's cracking snide jokes. That's wonderful. Furukawa seems to be happy from the bottom of her heart. I wonder. What's with this family? Are we having bread for dinner tonight? Nah. Tonight's a celebration. We'll just have him take the bread home. Well, I bought ingredients for dinner, so I'll help cook. You two wait and be nice to each other. <laughs> but Akawa's mom follows after her. Uh-oh. Uh, now I'm all alone with her dad. You'll be eating something decent for dinner. Don't worry. Uh, looks like I missed my chance to get away. They were selling good meat at the store, so we made pork cutlet. It might not look very well made, but it tastes good. Put a bunch of shredded cabbage on your plate like this. Then put this sauce on everything. So this is what Furukawa normally looks like. She's speaking a lot too. It's funny how different she is when she's around her family. Even this family. I might not be drawing out even half of the cheerfulness she normally has inside of her. I feel irritated. Irritated at myself for losing to this family. <laughs> then again, we only just met. I guess our relationship is just getting started. Wait, why am I starting to feel this competitive? <laughs> this is tasty! Really? I'm so glad to hear that. Isn't that right, kiddo? You know, I never learned your name. He's Okazaki-san. Tomoya Okazaki-san. <laughs> what a lame name. <laughs> you should change it to Okazaki Galaxy. Now that's a name with scale, huh? What a wonderful name. May I call you Galaxy-san? Of course not! My name's Tomoya. Oh, I know then. Make your family name Universe. Universe Galaxy. Now that's epic. <laughs> oh, that's good. May I call you Universe-san? My name's Okazaki. <laughs> you sure do like to nitpick. Sane, do you have any ideas? Hmm... What about Cosmic Tomoya? <laughs> That's great! May I call you Cosmic-san, then? I just told you. It's Okazaki. Hey, Cosmic! What's life like at Nagisa's school? It's Okazaki. 
Hirakawa has been laughing the entire time. I guess she realizes this is one long joke. She seems so honestly happy. Hey, Cosmo! <laughs> is this gonna be a thing? <laughs> oh, I love it. That's funny. Okay. <laughs> How many name changes are we up to at this point? I watch closely as the family interacts with each other. It's gotten pretty late. Is that all right? <laughs> Okazaki-san? Sorry. It just seemed strange to me. Hmm? What did? That there were families like this. You're all so close. Aww. Really? This seems to feel absolutely normal to her. After being with them for a while, I feel uncomfortable. At the same time, I also feel a sense of frustrated embarrassment. Why is that? I was suddenly tossed into a situation where I stood out. Then I was treated like a child. What exactly was I feeling? You were feeling love, my boy. The time I just spent with Furukawa's family. The mood in there was so... foreign to me. It seemed like something that'd take place on a different planet. My spirits noticeably dampen. I just want to go home and sleep on this for the night. But unfortunately... The living room. My father is sitting in a corner, his back hunched over. As I see him, I'm overcome with anger. Hey, old man. If you're gonna sleep, you should at least lie down. With nowhere to channel my emotions, I simply suppress them and calmly say the words. No answer. Either he's sleeping, or he just doesn't feel like listening. I can't really tell the difference these days. Hey. Dad. I try calling him something else. <laughs> he slowly raises his head and squints his eyes open. He peers up at me. I wonder how I look in his eyes. Does he really see my face as the face of his own son? Oh. Now look at that. I hope I didn't cause you any trouble again, Tomoyo-kun. The scene before me turns red for a moment. <laughs> but after that, I leave as I always do. Behind me, I hear an imploring voice repeating my name, with a kun attached to it. What did I come all the way here for? What I plan to do once I got here? A feeling of nostalgia hits me like a truck. Nostalgia for a kindness I knew long, long ago. I don't think I'd ever known something like that. And yet, Despite how distant that memory is, it still feels so familiar. Like it happened only yesterday. But just a little earlier, I'd been watching on as something like that took place again right in front of me. When they treated me like a child, I returned to being a child. But all I did was feel annoyed by that. <laughs> If you'd like, I hear a voice right behind me. I turn back to look in its direction and see a girl. She looks like an illusion, purity itself. I can. The words flow from her mouth. I can take you. She slowly closes her eyes. To the place where wishes are granted. 
This is her declaration to me. This small messenger from another world. We stand there in the freezing atmosphere, in the place closest to the entrance to that world. Ah. Uh, I force myself to make a sound. My body feels as though it's being paralyzed. Yeah. My voice trembles as it answers. The girl opens her eyes. And then... What are you doing here? Her face returns to normal. To the one of simple purity that I know. <laughs> uh, nothing, really. That's strange. You just went home. Well... Is there something you need to do at my house? No, not really. I've calmed back down. It was just a little too early to go home. But it's already so late. Oh, that's right. You're a delinquent, Okazaki-san. Yep, that's me. It's probably hard being that way, huh? Nah. You don't need to worry about me, though. I do this because I want to, remember? It seems like it'd get boring. What about you, Furukawa? Are you out shopping again? No. She immediately replies in the negative. I'm practicing for a play. I see. That makes sense. I always practice at night in the park. This late at night? Isn't that, you know, dangerous? I was practicing a little later than normal today. I usually practice earlier, but I'm alright. I was actually on my way back here when I saw you. I was reciting some of my lines for you. That's what I was saying before. I see. I would be happy if you could give me some feedback. Well... That was all a performance, and it's definitely worthy of praise. But I can't find the words to praise her with. Just say it was good, idiot! Hurry up and go home. You moron! You freaking idiot! Idiot! Uh, I think I'm going to take tomorrow off from school. It's a joke, stupid. Don't act so devastated. Dude, you need- Okay, alright, I like you being a savage. But only to Sunahara. <laughs> Cause like... She don't deserve this, dude. She's so sweet. Don't be mean to her. Okazaki-san, your jokes are cruel. Yeah, a little bit. I was actually starting to cry. She starts wiping the edges of her eyes with her finger. She's like a small child. <sighs> Don't make me throw down, Okazaki. I will do it. Okazaki-san, are you still not going to go home after this? Nope. Gonna stay out a while longer. You'll be late again for school tomorrow. Yeah, maybe. But that's fine. I'm a delinquent after all. I wonder if that's really true. I still have a hard time believing you. You don't seem like a delinquent at all, Okazaki-san. Oh, when he jokes like that, he kinda is. That's just how some of us delinquents are. You said that you got in fights with your father. Yeah, I did. Does it have something to do with that? You'll get in a fight with your father if you see each other, so you walk around outside until he falls asleep. 
That makes you late to school all the time, which causes everyone to whisper that you're a delinquent. Am I wrong? What a sharp girl. Either that, or I said so much about my personal life that it was easy to guess all of that. You're wrong. <laughs> I don't confirm it to her. I want to look cool. Calm. Collected. Why? <laughs> Are you sure I'm wrong? We barely know each other. I'm shocked you're able to come up with all of that. I can. Because of you, Okazaki-san. I thought there must be some sort of reason for why you do the things you do. That's... That's just the feeling I had, I guess. <laughs> Even if that was the case, what are you going to do about it? I try asking her. You're the one who gave me courage, Okazaki-san. So I want to help you in return. I want to give you courage. The courage to face off against my old man? No. You shouldn't confront him. You need to understand each other. How? That... That's something that takes a lot of time. Yeah. I bet it does. We're just kids. I look far off into the distance. Above the roofs of the houses in town, the night clouds shine dimly from the light of the moon. If you'd like, you can come to my house. Furukawa's voice breaks my trance. Excuse me? Uh, we can what? Your dad will probably destroy us? <laughs> Murder us in cold blood? You're very open, kiddo. You should watch yourself. It must be the proposal she came up with after struggling to think of something in the last few moments. I think it would be good if you put some distance between you and your father and gave each other time to think. You two are family, so I'm sure you'll start to miss each other once you're apart. Doing that will make you remember that you really do love each other. And then, maybe you'll be able to sit down and talk the next time you meet. Also, this way, you'll at least be able to go to sleep at a decent hour, so you won't be late for school. Two birds with one stone. She must have had to make an effort to say all that. What do you think, Okazaki-san? Would you like to do that? Uh, I mean, you can't do that, right? You can't. That's weird. That's so weird. That would... That's so... That's so weird. That's so weird. We shouldn't do that. We shouldn't do that. That's so that's so weird, you know? Like she's so sweet. But you didn't even ask your parents about this, all right? So like no, no, we I couldn't possibly. I, I I think that's the only option, right? That's the It's fine. We'll we'll deal with our own problems. It'll be fine. There's no way I could do that. Why is that? You've only just met me. Plus, I'm a student with a bad behavior. And I'm a guy. Exactly. Alright, see? See, he, he gets it. You're practically asking me to have my way with you by saying we should live together. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, <laughs> let's calm down, alright? Well, we, didn't, we didn't need to go that far. Alright, calm down. I wouldn't mind if you had your way with me. Uh, what the frick? <laughs> Excuse me? Calm down! Uh, what the heck? Yo, what is this? This is escalating real quick. What in the world? 
Uh, what do you mean when you say that? What? She has no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I was gonna say, whoa, I didn't know that she... All right, okay. All right, it's just, it was fake. It was just, or not fake, but it was, she meant something else. She didn't know what she meant. Don't ever say that again. Um, say what? All of it. That you want me to stay at your house? That you don't mind me having my way with you? Oh, okay. I understand. Ah, that sucks. But it, uh, you, uh, we couldn't do that. That would be weird, right? Like, ah. <laughs> I seem to have said something I shouldn't have. I'm sorry. She bows her head. I don't want to see this any longer. It doesn't really matter. Well, I'm going home. Okay. Good night. Yeah. Oh, that sucked. That sucked. That felt bad. But like, we couldn't do that, you know? I'm trying to be the good guy. I'm trying to be I'm trying to be honorable, you know? And also not imposing on some other family's house when she hasn't even asked her parents. And also, I just need to, like, deal with my dad. You know? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that wasn't the right thing to do, but it, I don't know. The other one felt weird. I visit Sunahara's room again that night. Hey, Sunahara. You alive? <sighs> Tsunahara is sleeping with his head rested on his kotatsu. Looks like you're alive. Aren't dust shoots supposed to be made so people can't fall in? <laughs> yeah, how do you get out? I, I, I was going to tell us how he got out. He raises his head right as I sit down. Were your joints dislocated or something? As if that'd be enough to make me fall in! Anyway... Okazaki. He brings his face close to mine. What? That girl is seriously strong. Yeah, I actually noticed that a while ago. <laughs> <clears throat> oh well, I guess this means that the legendary girl really does exist. She does not! You still don't believe it? It's just impossible for a woman to be stronger than a man. You've just made yourself an enemy of every woman in this country. <laughs> and probably the world. I mean, you saw how she looked, right? Well, I do agree as far as that Tomio girl is concerned. Right? It's just absurd how strong she is. Could it be... What? Could it be she... she's actually a guy? <laughs> I'm really starting to worry about your life now. <laughs> Why? How about you try saying the same thing to her face? <laughs> please, please do it. He must be visualizing the scene in his head. <laughs> He's probably being thrown through the air right about now. <laughs> He's probably being cremated right about now. <laughs> I think I'll pass. You don't want to end up in a urn? As if I'd imagine things that far ahead. I only got up till the part where I jumped out of the casket in a panic. That means you came back to life. That's not in character, you know. What? Really? Just be a good boy and burn. <laughs> Why does any of that matter? At any rate, I'm gonna go check. Going to check whether resurrection is possible after being turned to ashes? 
Why would I test something that scary with my own body? I mean whether she's a man or not. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Dude. Come on. She meaning Tomio? Yeah. How? There's plenty of ways. And I'm gonna check until I know for sure. At this point in time, Sunahara had yet to realize that he had started down the path of the pervert. <laughs> I could totally hear that, you know. Just pretend you didn't then. It'll be far more fun that way. <laughs> As if I do something that, that'd seem perverted. I'll play it smooth. Well, be sure to stay safe. I want to hear your findings. <laughs> don't look down on me. I don't think that's something you can say after being completely demolished in a fight today. Anyway, I'll give up on trying to discourage him for now. I face Sunahara and give him a thumbs up. Good lech! I'll be praying for your pervertedness. I say this in the most upbeat way possible. Yeah! Sunahara takes it as a wish for good luck, and gives me an equally refreshing response. <laughs> oh boy. <sighs> I must have been dreaming. It was a dream of long ago. I stare at the ceiling for a while trying to recall the whole thing. I can't remember what it was about, though. What I do know is that the dream left me feeling... at ease. I crawl out of bed and begin getting dressed. Looking at the clock, I realize that first period has already started. I grab my thin bag and head to the first floor. My father is already gone. I pass through the messy room and head to the entranceway. After I put my shoes on and lock the door behind me, I leave home. I walk down the usual path all alone. There is nobody wearing the same uniform as me around. Well, of course, first period has already started after all. I see this road empty more frequently than I see it filled with students wearing school uniforms. <laughs> Maybe I should just ditch and hang somewhere. I'll just be sleeping anyway if I go to school. Even so, since I'm wearing a uniform, I can't really go anywhere public. Going to Sunahara's room to kill time wouldn't be a bad choice. But hey, if I sleep in class, at least I'll be counted as present. Oh crap! Ah! Suddenly something hits me in the back. And it was a very intense impact at that. For an instant, I can't breathe, and my eyes flicker. My back feels like it is on fire. I turn around as I reach behind me to hold my back, and there stands... Ah! Sorry! Y you Don't tell me you hit me with that! <laughs> Actually, I still am not very used to driving this. I just got my license last week, after all. Of course, I passed on my first try. So I bought myself a new bike. A new bike. What do you think? Cool, isn't it? Apologize sincerely before you start boasting. <laughs> huh? I did say sorry just now, didn't I? You call that being sincere? Show your sincerity in a more tangible way. Go look up the word reparation in the dictionary. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's your fault you're walking in the middle of the road. 
I'm a vulnerable pedestrian. You're going to get your license suspended for hurting someone. You're such a whiner. If you're so vulnerable, then walk along the edge of the street like a vulnerable pedestrian would. <laughs> you picked a fight with someone stronger than you, and now that you lost, you're playing the victim? Don't be so petty. Hang on a minute. Why do I need to stand here and listen to her giving me crap? <laughs> I wasn't trying to fight a bike. Heck, she rammed into me from behind. I am 100% the victim here. Okay. What is it? I'll call the cops and tell them there's been an accident here. No matter the reason, you are definitely getting your license revoked. Have fun spending all day listening to some boring lecture at traffic school. If you even try to do that, I'll turn you into roadkill. <laughs> uh. Her eyes aren't laughing. I'm just kidding. Well, I'm serious. <laughs> I bet. By the way, what are you doing here this late? Besides, isn't it against school rules to come by motorbike? What, really? It's because I'm late that I'm riding my bike. There aren't that many people around. I'm in a rush, and it's a breeze. Well, you're still late. No matter how fast you go, it doesn't matter in the end, right? If you think like such a sloth, you're, you're going to waste your life away. Doesn't riding a bike to school because it's a breeze make you a sloth too? <laughs> Vehicles are the fruit of human intelligence. They're the pinnacle of civilization. They only have a purpose if you use them. What terrible reasoning. Then, at least give me a ride to school. This bike only seats one. If I squeeze in, there'll be room for two. <laughs> what? Could it be that... You wanna hug me? Are you saying it's okay to? <laughs> if you're okay with not being able to eat anything but rice porridge for lunch... Uh... Oh! I meant I will break your jaw if you try. <laughs> I don't need you to spell it out for me. Okay, I'm going then. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I walk to the back of Kyo's bike and sit on the rear wing. Go! <laughs> Her helmet mercilessly hits my jaw. <laughs> that hurts! Where the heck do you think you're sitting? If you break the wing, I'll break your nose. Didn't you say it's okay as long as I don't hug you? In that case, sit on the seat and go throw your hands up in the air. I'll get thrown off the bike. I won't go that fast. Then give me more room on the seat. <laughs> Sheesh. Get off the bike for a second. Fine. <laughs> I slip off the rear wing and stand next to the bike. Alright. Now make me some room. <laughs> oh no. Hey, where the heck are you going? <laughs> That's so naive of you, you dummy. Kyo's abusive words fade into the distance as she rides away from me. The next time I see your bike, I'm sticking gum in its keyhole! With a screech, Kyo suddenly does a 180 in the distance. <laughs> and charges this way. Wham! <laughs> ah, it's so good. Ow! If you do that, I'll jam chopsticks under your fingernails. I'll keep that in mind. After glaring at me, Kyo turns her bike around and rides away once more. She sure can't take a joke. I take a breath while glaring at the bike's tail light as it moves into the distance. 
That reminds me. Ujibayashi's fortune. I'll have an intense impact with a gentle girl. Both my body and mind will be refreshed. Darn it. You imbecile. <laughs> the bottom of the hill. Furukawa is there again, standing still as can be. Morning. Oh, good morning. What are you doing here again? I was waiting for you, Okazaki-san. <sighs> I love her. She's so, she's just, she's such a peach. She's so cute. You were waiting? Yes. I thought we could go to school together every morning from now on. Huh? If that would bother you, then I won't, but... The school is right there, you know. You just have to climb this hill, that's all. Yes, but... She glances at the school gates. I- Dude, you're so dumb. Just say sure, fine, whatever. Idiot. Climbing this hill. I guess it's something she still needs to work up courage to do. Why? Oh, because she's sick, is that why? Or was sick? So, I guess not then? She looks back at me, holding down her hair as it dances in the wind. If you don't give me a choice! If you wait for me, you'll be late to school every day, you know. That's okay. It's much better than not going at all. Aww. You should just go on your own. With or without me. Okay. I'll try. Why didn't you give me a freaking thing to say? I would have said I'd do it every freaking day! It's not like I mind, though. Alright, that's better. Huh. I guess even a guy like me is able to help her. Funny. It almost feels a bit like a luxury to be in this position. That's why I start walking. Let's go. Okay. Her feet pitter-patter behind me. Don't you need to figure out what you'll be having for lunch today? No, I I'll be alright. After all, we're going to school together. That's motivating in and of itself. I see. In that case, let's go buy lunch together. You're just going to buy bread anyway, right? Yes. <laughs> A little later. I'd look back and realize this was another odd promise I made to her. Yo! You're late! <sighs> you are here earlier than me? This cannot be. This must be a dream. Here, let me try punching your cheek. Pinch your own cheek! But wouldn't that hurt if this was actually real? <laughs> it hurt for me too! So anyway, why are you here? Well... I can't just remain stained with dishonor like this. Huh? Which stain do you mean? Why are you making it sound like as though I've got a lot of them? Of course, the stain of losing to a woman. Ah, that one. <laughs> Today, I'll prove that she's a man. And you came here this early just for that? So, how are you going to prove it? I'll ask her questions that'll make her inadvertently give up the fact that she's a man. For example... <laughs> For example... Hey, could you lend me a razor sometime? Or something? This guy actually thinks that's a casual question. <laughs> so, how do you plan on smuggling something like that into a natural conversation? It'll work out one way or another. 
You just watch. Yeah, yeah. We gotta go and watch that. Absolutely. <laughs> Sunahara leaves the classroom in high spirits. Uh, um... Okazaki-kun? Leaving my bag, I follow after Sunahara. Oh, no! Oh, she was gonna read us a fortune! Oh, frick! Oh, we missed it. Blast! <laughs>